The natural splendor of Costa Rica is home to wildlife, beaches, cloud forests, and volcanoes. This is a nation that appeals to luxury tourists and birdwatchers just as much as it does to surfers and backpackers. So let's have a look at 15 must-visit travel attractions in Costa Rica. 1. Manuel Antonio National Park One of Costa Rica's best places to see wildlife is Manuel Antonio National Park, which is located on the outskirts of the town. It also has the added benefit of having lovely beaches with smooth sand. 2. A Renal Volcano One of the best places to view volcanoes in the nation is the steep Cordillera de Tilleran where the Aridal Volcano National Park is located. The Aridal Volcano, a cone-shaped peak with massive ash columns frequently spilling from the crater, is the area's main draw. 3. Monteverde and the Cloud Forests One of the best areas to travel in Costa Rica for ecotourism is the cloud forests around Monteverde and Santa Elena. This is undoubtedly the spot to go if you are eager to get close to nature and observe unusual plants and fauna without going too far off the beaten path. 4. Tamarindo Tamarindo is the ideal location if you're seeking a beach town with lots of activity where you may stay for a while. Tamarindo, which is located in Guanacaste's Nicoya Peninsula, is a popular spot for beach going, surfing, and having fun. The town which was formerly a peaceful fishing community, has developed into a tourist hotspot with a wide selection of dining establishments and lodging options. 5. Dominical One of the best surfing spots in Costa Rica is Dominical, a tropical refuge for backpackers. This town has a long history of being known for its lovely beaches, affordable lodging, casual open-air dining, and fantastic bohemian culture. But in the nearby mountains, resorts, bed and breakfasts, and opulent rentals draw affluent travelers. 6. Malpais and Santa Teresa Malpais on the Nicoya Peninsula is an area along the coast known for great waves that attract surfers from around the world. The town of Santa Teresa is the main hot spot in the area, however. A chain of villages and beaches lie along the Malpais, including the villages of Malpais and Manzanillo. 7. Jaco Anyone seeking to leave San Jose but still desires the conveniences and advantages of a larger town or metropolis should consider Jaco. There is a large, attractive, and lively beach here. The swimming and surfing are both excellent, and the waves are smaller than in other places along this stretch of shore. 8. Wildlife Viewing One of the few places in the world where visiting only for the wildlife is worthwhile is Costa Rica. The unique and widespread wildlife experiences in the country more than make up for whatever cultural attractions that it may lack. Rarely is it necessary to look for animals. 9. Diamond Eco Adventure Park Visit Diamond Eco Adventure Park if you don't think walking through the rainforest in the heat is fun. Here, it is simple to see animals in their native habitat. These non-releasable animals are cared for on-site by scientists who are also available to answer your inquiries. You can also stroll through a butterfly enclosure in addition to the large animals. One of these friendly, colorful creatures might even settle on you if you're lucky. 10. Osa Peninsula and Corcovado National Park In southern Costa Rica, beyond the beautiful beaches of Dominical, is the remote Osa Peninsula and Corcovado National Park. The park, established in 1975, protects what is considered to be the best remaining stretch of Pacific coastal rainforest in Central America. It has an extensive trail system and is popular with travelers who enjoy long-distance hikes. 11. Tortuguero National Park Visitors may choose to visit Tortuguero National Park on the Caribbean coast for something a little unique and off the main road. One of the wettest regions in the nation, this location is only reachable by boat or plane and provides something unique to the rest of Costa Rica. As a result of the park's significance as a green sea turtle breeding habitat, the primary activity here is observing turtles. 12. The National Theater in San Jose Costa Ricans take pride in the National Theater, which is considered to be the most impressive building in San Jose. In the 1890s, the ruling coffee barons voted for a tax on coffee exports in order to fund the construction of the theater, and European artisans were imported to design the building. 13. Irazu Volcano National Park 
At 3,342 meters, the Iris Volcano is Costa Rica's tallest active volcano. The volcano's summit is covered in craters and resembles the surface of the moon. The Diego de la Haya crater is much smaller and has a tiny lime green lake that occasionally appears red. Irez's principal crater is 1,050 meters in diameter and 300 meters deep. 14. Braulio Carrillo National Park A 30-minute drive from busy San Jose, Braulio Carrillo National Park is home to rough mountains, waterfalls, canyons, dormant volcanoes, and virgin rainforest. Due to the park's close proximity to the country's primary entry point, it is simple to view some of Costa Rica's distinctive flora and fauna. 15. Rincón de la Vieda National Park The main draw of this park is the Rincón de la Vieda Volcano. A walk to the summit is one of the most well-liked activities. Starting in Las Palas, this 9.6-kilometer trail ascends through several different eco-regions. The vistas are breathtaking. On a clear day, you can see all the way into Nicaragua and the Nicoya Peninsula. That is all for today. I hope you liked the video, so don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon. Thank you for watching.